this is greater than, than T at H. Okay, maybe that makes sense. So if, if this value is greater than T, then I'm going to add this H. And so I just do this and I get a spanner that looks like this. Okay, um, so, so this is pretty simple. You could, you could probably um, be, be not too hard anymore. Um, th there are other algorithms that this greedy algorithm can get added just that it doesn't really need to add, add sometimes. And there are some cases where you don't need to do this and you'll add a bunch of edges which are kind of duplicating the effect of other ones. Um, so um, so um, the, the, there, are other, there are other versions people have looked at, especially in this uh, um, Euclidean domain. And so what it's going to do is going to look at a bunch of these points. And these, these items can also be faster. This one needs n squared time. You need to look at all possible edges. And you put it in space, you may not need to look at all the edges because you know there's some nice um, Euclidean structure, especially if this is just in two dimensions. And some of these work a lot better. So assume you have some points kind of like this. Um, and so what we're going to do is around each point, we're going to divide up its neighborhood into these six regions, or these six cones. And in higher dimensions, you need more cones. But you want such that the angle here is at most, um, at most 60 degrees. So you can generalize that to higher dimensions. You need, I think, like, I think like 12 cones in three dimensions. And it, it grows as you go higher. Um, and so then, um, for each of these directions, I'm going to find, for this vertex, I'm going to add the closest point. Or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to project onto some line through the middle here and look at the closest projection. So I'm going to add edges here. And I'm going to do this for every one of the points. So each point is going to have at most six vertices. Right, so uh, at most every vertex is, sorry, each vertex is going to have at most six edges. Um, and if I do this, then I'm going to get, um, or so, so if I make this, so the, the angle, so I'm going to make an angle here, uh, theta, and so theta will be greater than six, or it needs to be less than 60 degrees, but less or equal. And then, was the result here? So if I set, if I set theta equals to two pi over k, so I get k of these of these um, of these wedges, then I'm going to get a t spanner with t equal to um, one minus one minus sine of uh, of theta over two. So, don't worry about this exactly, but as you make the angle smaller, you get a, um, a, um, a smaller and smaller t. So you get a better and better approximation. So this is kind of a, a cool way. It's very um, um, decentralized. You can use a nearest neighbor structure, like some of the things we talked about earlier, to quickly pre-process the points so you can quickly find the nearest neighbor in each of these directions. Um, and there are, there are various ways of, of doing it. Um, and you, you don't need the exact nearest neighbor if you do approximate nearest neighbor. Okay, so I'll, I guess I've run out of time, so let me just quickly mention that the, the last way of doing it is you take your, your points and you build like a quad tree on top of the points. Um, and then you, you basically connect, you, you take one representative point from each of the cells in the quad tree and you connect them if they satisfy something like this property um, by just the, but they satisfy a property if the cells are far enough apart relative to the distance between them. And then you can connect them. Otherwise, you need to recursively look at all the subsets. And you build something called a well-separated well parity composition. But it's basically just building one of these quad trees that we discussed during the nearest neighbor section. 
and you can get some, some the best spanner results possible, but you can construct them in near linear time, and they have size about t times times l, or there's size about the number of vertices log times the log number of the vertices, um, and you construct them very quickly. They all follow this quadrant. Um, so okay, so um, that's it for this. If, uh, if you want to hand in the homework, um, send one way you can do is you can send a PDF email to Yan, or you can stop by and turn in a PDF to me, um, or a printed out version to my office or to Yan's office. Um, and and I forget what the due date is, but it's on the web page. I think it's April 30th. Um, so don't forget the poster session is on Wednesday, and uh, you can pick up the posters in the main office. Chris Coleman uh, by um, at least by 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, what room is the poster session? Um, 3105. Okay. So if you look, if you look uh, uh, just like on if the you look online, it's on there. It's on the third yeah, floor down the hall from the office towards the rest of the restaurant. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.